Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1. So Blender Reese are the guy behind the vibe generator and a lot of amazing, the most mind-bending Dimitri Node setup has released another yet amazing Dimitri Node setup and that is this uh, smudge mask generator and he's releasing it for free. Uh, you can download it for free. I'm going to leave links in the description but I want to show you how you can use it and even apply it on your model. So I've already downloaded this project. The project you get comes with, uh, let me first hide these. Yeah, comes basically like this, like uh, an abandoned factory and uh, let me show you how you can apply this to your own model. So I have this house here. Add this in uh, using my asset library. It comes in as a linked object. I'm um, just going to make it editable and uh, just to make things simple, I'm also going to turn this into a single object. You can see there are multiple objects. Let me just first apply visual geometry and then control J to have one single object like this. Yeah, you can see uh, the materials uh, look fairly clean. So what I can do, uh, you can just, let me go to cycles because this shader works in EV, but uh, it looks better in cycles. You can link the modifiers using Ctrl L, just select the object you want to have the modifiers on and then the, the original object with the modifiers. Last Ctrl L, copy modifiers. Now these modifiers are onto this, but you see they don't really show up because this modifier works with the material. So I also, and if I try to copy the material as well, it will replace the material I have for my uh, mesh. So if say I do link material, you can see Ah, this doesn't look bad, but it replaces the original material on my mesh, which is not what I want. So I will just do undo here. And uh, what I can do now, I can come to this and copy the material for this. So I can copy everything up to here. I don't need the principal shader. I can just copy this here, control C. <laughs> and come to my original objects and uh, since this is a PBR shader uh, there isn't a lot of nodes so it's it's really easy for me to set up so I can just paste what I copied from this here and if I preview this you can see what we get so I want to integrate this uh, degradation or this uh, whatever this is uh, with my original material and uh, if you look closely at uh, the mask that creates these uh, water damage and everything is just this part here and uh, the texture or the original concrete texture is this part here so we can replace this with our texture so instead of using this I can just bypass it or remove it and use my own here and if I look at this you see we get the dart and now I can use this as my base and if I look at that you can see what we get and uh, yeah that's that's really easy and you still have these controls so you can control uh, this or you can turn on automate to middle yeah that is also good enough and uh, let me first remove this uh, so you can let me show you the difference between the original and this so if I just that's the original and this is new another way i guess you could do this uh, let me remove this to make to keep things simple you can just group this like this and uh so what we want yeah is group a so, yeah so we just yeah basically you can just have this in the middle and if you don't want it you can just bypass it like that yeah, let's try this on a different model. So I have this house here. Oh, by the way, you can get these buildings uh, if you're a Patreon. Okay, so I'm going to make this editable as well. Yeah, again, you can come to this. And uh, I think, yeah, the easiest way to is to just, uh, this is not part of the group. I can just select all of this, Control G, have it in the, so into a, a group like this, and then copy this and come to this and paste that in here. Now I can just place this between my base color and my principal and you can see we already have that. If I disable this or mute it, you can see that's before and that's after. Just look at how much detail that adds to this. And uh, you still have, oh, I haven't copied the modifiers, but it works. So I don't have control over uh, the, the geometry. So I can again 
control L link modifiers to get uh, to get back the ability to change uh, this. Uh, one thing you might have to do is apply uh, the scale and uh, the rotation because that affects how this is this this mask work because let me undo this for you a bit you can see how my textures are like slanted yeah i have to apply uh, the rotation to correct that and apply the scale to uh yeah to for this to work correctly and uh, yeah you, you still have these all these options you can work with i can even exclude or include the flat areas or just use the automate to middle uh, but then you lose uh, the ability to control this manually yeah something like that yeah of course there are st still a few things you can do you can adjust the colors in here maybe something like that maybe this Maybe this is Morse. And uh, you can expose these as inputs, group inputs as well, so that you can adjust uh, those outside the node group. Yeah, so it's a really, really amazing tool. And again, if I disable this, look at the difference. And on, yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah, I'm going to leave all the links in the description. And uh, yeah, this is by Blender Riz. Again, he made the bad generator, which is uh, something really powerful as well. Oh, and don't forget, cyber cells are still on for a few more hours. So if you want to get some amazing add-ons at a discount, uh, you can do that. Yes, thank you. I'll see you in the next video.